Matt, thanks for joining us. What's your verdict on the performance? Uh, pretty disappointing, to be honest. I thought we started the game pretty well. Um, asked a few questions of them. They obviously went down to 10 men. And then I just don't think we capitalised enough. I thought we huffed and puffed without really pinning them in and creating enough sustained pressure. Um, and then in the second half, I thought we got really loose and bad decisions. Um, and it was disappointing, to be honest. I thought it was there for us to to kind of dominate the ball and create more chances and kind of back up a lot of the stuff we've been talking about over the last few weeks because we're on a we're on a really good run. We haven't lost many games recently, so um, I think overall we're pretty pretty dis- disappointed, especially with the second half. I just think we huffed and puffed without really creating anything meaningful other than Pigs' goal, which was probably a, a good individual effort. So uh, disappointed. And no doubt disappointed in the manner in which both goals were conceded. Yeah, and that's a big thing. I think. I think I said we were loose when we had the ball. I then thought we were loose kind of when we lost it. We were out of position, out of shape. People didn't recover in quick enough. I mean, for the first goal, I think one man on his own in the box um, gets the first contact and then it's just a a bit of sloppiness. So, yeah, frustrating and and, and, and poor in the moments. And we spoke about it all all season in, in, in in the league especially. Um, moments of what decide games so we weren't good enough in the moments we had to, to capitalise and score and we weren't good enough in the moments where we gave the ball away and we were out of shape and we don't recover quick enough we don't defend the box well enough so um, yeah disappointed How big a setback is it to be out of the competition? Yes, yeah, a setback I think the club wanting to go through not just because um, you want to get in the habit of winning games obviously there's a financial side to it as well um, and also we've got a strong squad we've got good players and we want to keep giving them games competitive games um, and they're knocking on the door or asking for opportunities but you've got to go and back it up on the pitch so um, yeah frustrated we want to, really wanted to go through we want a culture here where you want to win every game we want to go through we want to compete in cup competitions go on cup runs so um, yeah that's frustrating that side of it definitely Theo Archibald didn't appear in the second half. Is that because of an injury? No, we, we planned. Well, we've got a few injuries at the moment. We planned kind of 45 minutes. We actually played a couple longer than we than we wanted. But, um, yeah, it was, it was nothing like that. It was just a precaution. We wanted to get 45 minutes in them. Um, Theo had done well in, when he was on. Created some chances going down the outside. So, yeah, no, no, uh, no worries with injury. It's a big game at home on Saturday. Now, Oxford United, Liam Manning has left the club. Is that going to be difficult as you prepare for that match? It's hard to know, isn't it? I mean, uh, they're obviously a, a good team. We've watched them a lot this season. Uh, a lot of our opponents have played Oxford already, so they're a good team. It's going to be a big game, a tough game. I think it'll be a good atmosphere here. Um, and it's, it's a game we've really got to relish and look forward to, I think. A um, little bit of a setback t- tonight, you know. Uh, wanting to go into it with loads of momentum, but I think it's hard to know with a new manager or a new temporary manager in charge we don't know exactly what will happen um, but all we can do is affect ourselves prepare as well as possible um, prepare the team as well as possible and I don't think there's anything to fear you know it's a good game for us I think the pressure's off a little bit and we're in good form we're in really good form we even think on the run we're on we probably should have more points than we've got so we've got to attack it and look forward to it Well, Hunt, Max Sanders and others would they be contention for that one? Um, touch or go touch or go we don't know we're obviously we'll train tomorrow and we'll find out if uh, they're any closer I think there's a few um, we're checking on but um, but no I mean we'll see tomorrow the draw for the cup has been made and it's uh, Danny Webb of course and his uh, league leaders um, Chesterfield he's a manager do we know what I mean yeah 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 no no I mean it's a tough draw for us Um, they're a good team they're obviously used to winning they've got good experienced players good manager and coaches so no it's a good game it's one we want to again we want to relish we know it'll be tough um and uh, I think it's a, I think it's a good draw, good FA Cup. It's what everyone wants. I don't know whether it will be on TV, but there may be a possibility of that. So we've got to enjoy it, but we want to go through. We want to get through to the third round and uh, and, and get a good draw. Finally, maybe you can help me on this one. At the moment, late night's game at Port Vale on that international weekend is still going ahead. When will the decision be made? Uh, so what's the date today? It is the. I think we'll know by the. So it's the seventh. I think we'll know by the tenth if that will go ahead. So. Um, so yeah, we we actually expected. We thought they had a few few internationals, so I think they've got a couple on standby. So we'll just wait and see. But um, at the moment, we're predicting it's going to be on. But we, I think we definitely need to know by the tenth, so we'll know by then.